we need to be pragmatic until we see evidence, we see results. And what we're doing is we're doing research that is generating evidence. I've reviewed the work of J.P. Farrell and have actually been present where participants in observational studies have had work done. Oh, it's just amazing. Smooth. When you smile, look at your smile. In and here, you know. there used to be creases because yeah, I watched gone. it and that changed. It's completely gone. Completely it's gone. Smooth. What do you see in the, in, the, in the shape of the chin? It's much more defined. Defined, yes. And the skin looks smoother and, and top tauter. And the tip of the nose? The tip of the nose is like marble. <laughs> <laughs> Polished marble. And the feel, right? I mean, oh, you, yeah. you apply makeup, so you know, right? That's a big change. In my mid-40s, I started dabbling with plastic surgery. I wanted a facelift. Mm -hmm. And when I went the first time, um, things didn't really go well. And uh, I had to try to find others to fix some botches that had happened. It was like this, um, and hard, and um, very movable, very kind of rubbery. Mm -hmm. I, I walked around with my head down. I felt ashamed. I felt um, uh, very self-conscious because I definitely had a, it was more like a freak's face. It's well, there's always someone someone, a doctor, that's going to tell you they can fix it. And that's what made, got me afraid after a while because every time I went to get it corrected, it got worse. And he said, we're going to fix the mess. That was a week and a half ago. With no stitches, no cutting, none of the bruising, none of all that stuff. Painless. And you get off the table. And after a few sessions, he put me back together again. I feel that my world is back, too, because JP corrected the freak mm -hmm. face I had had. But there are deeper changes at the level of the tissues as well, so that uh, changes in the soft tissues as well as bony tissue can ensue. I was born with amniotic van syndrome. In my situation, it was a severe case where I had the cleft lip and palate, so I needed to have surgery. I've had about 30 to 35 surgeries. I would take pictures and look at my, my nose and look at how I looked in the mirror. And in the beginning, it was really thick and wide. But then one day, he was like, I want to you know, really work on your nose and just focus on it. And I was like, OK. After he was done, he was like, touch your nose. And I touched it. And I was like, oh my god. I noticed right away that the, the sides of my nose, it felt a lot closer because before my nose was a lot more wider. So I, I definitely felt the difference. It felt smoother. And I was able to tell that something was different here, which was definitely a positive thing for me. Because at first I didn't think it was possible. And when I realized it, I was like, wow. And, I, and the entire day I just looked at, I kept looking in the mirror and touching my nose because I was really surprised that this really works. And that was just a great experience. Tell me what you want to accomplish today. A little work on the nose, get some of the bulbous okay. out. Okay. And just to make um, the nose look um, as good as possible, but natural. Okay. That looks great. Um, let's see, the bulges are reduced. Yeah. You kept my same natural nose, but you got rid of the bulges, which makes it look great. So what do you say? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the integration of medicine, the integrative medical movement, is not a replacement. and It is not meant to replace allopathic Western medicine. Complementary and alternative medicines can be brought to bear to enhance the ongoing current practice of medicine. And it can benefit, and it can benefit in many ways. It's my desire and my wish and my hope that we'll be able to replicate this, harness it, and have it available for everyone and be made available at hospitals.
You kept my same natural nose, but you got rid of the bulges, which makes it look great. The tip of the nose is like marble. <laughs> <laughs> Polished marble. I feel that my world is back too because JP corrected the freak mm -hmm. face I had had. After he was done, he was like, touch your nose. And I touched it and I was like, oh my God. And I am humbled to be able to be part of this to serve the growth and evolution of healthcare.